All right, and on today's episode of Vet Farm Ranch, we are doctoring the kittens. It's kind of like a kind of skipping around in this. I'm sorry about that. So we took the cat kitten to the vet. Uh, I was expecting to be some sort of horrible wound from a bite attack, um, an infection for sure. And brought him in. Lo and behold, it was a bat fly, and a good size one at that. So took him in the back room, um, pulled the bat fly out, gave him a shot of antibiotics in the back, um, and the kitten had been sneezing relentlessly, just continually. And she's like, "Oh, you might be contagious. You might get the other cat sick." And I'm like, "Well, he's been sneezing for a couple of weeks, so I think it's probably just a virus or the dust in the barn." <clears throat> But for some reason, it never occurred to her to check the cat's nose. Bat flies very commonly go into the nasal passages of kittens, and this kitten had a bat fly in his nose. No joke. I got home that night, feeding the cats. The cat is sneezing just uncontrollably. And so finally, I like pick it up, roll it over, look at it, and it looks like there's something in his nose. So I get him in the light better, and lo and behold, I can see it's the bot file larva. So the vet actually said that the reason Sassafras here was acting so bad was because he probably got into that hydraulic fluid that we had changed the other day. I mean, he didn't leave it out, but I mean, there's always residue on stuff, and if he walked in it and it licked his paws or something like that. All right, so we've got the kit in for round two. We actually applied um, a little bit of medical grade Vaseline to the tip of his nose, just on the off chance, because the worm was like far down deep in there. And uh, after a few minutes, the kitten actually melted it with his breath and it went down in there, but now the worm is starting to kind of crawl out. Um, so my pliers are gone, so I'm gonna use my tweezers, hopefully. Yeah, that sucker. So I'm not sure how blurry this is gonna be, but we will see. Okay, you have to hold his head like real still. And that's actually the worm that's popping around right there, and not the cat. I can tell. Okay. Oh gosh, that scared the crap out of me. There's the worm. I'm trying to come out. Hold him still. Oh, you ready? Oh, hold him still. Hold his head. Hold him, hold him. Okay, hold him still. See, the worm's getting mad. I know, baby. I know. I know. There we go. Come on. This way towards me a little bit more. Towards me. There you go. Oh, ready? Ready? Hold still, hold still. Dang it. I just sucked it back in. Gotta hold him. Air and out. Dang it. Hold still, hold still. As much as you can, as much as you can.
Okay, it's right up to this nostril yeah. here. It was. I wish it'd stick as little. Oh, and then it would no, kind of come out. I know. I'm sorry, Kiki. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's got so much better. Hold on. I know. Hold on. I know, baby. Right, let's get my break for a second. Hi, baby. I know, you're being so good. I'm sorry. We almost got it out of here, babes. I'm not so sure we're going to be able to get it out without sedating, unfortunately. We can um, try to leave in here throughout the day and see if it pokes its ugly head out. We can try to keep trying to get it out. But unfortunately, we might not be able to get deep enough to grab it without sedating. I'm sorry, baby, I know. It's just the end of I'm just sick down. of it. Sick of being messed with, huh? Sorry, bud. There. We'll take about five, ten minutes to go to sleep, so we'll let it get a little bit sleepy and... Ah, mm, poor dear. Sorry, bud. I was like, man, this yeah. is a rough day. <laughs> I <laughs> hasn't even had breakfast. And now your ladies just won't leave me alone. Here, sweetie. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> I can't even see it. Come on, little thing. Mr. Mr. Tell it little thing and come back out and play. Let's see if it comes out for us. Come on, little thing. Um, I know, Kiki. At least you're feeling better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to let it chill out for a bit because. She probably is just hiding on us. You guys keep an eye on it. Let me know if it starts poking its head out again. There, it's angry little head out. I don't want to just grab your nose. That would hurt. Here we go. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's not very big. I know, not very exciting, was it? Oh. It's not as exciting <laughs> as it grabbed it. Yeah, that's good that we got it when it was smaller. Oh, what did you just do to me? Yay! <laughs> He's like, oh, oh okay. Still, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> now, could that, in theory, like, attach onto somebody else? No. <laughs> I was like, step back. Like an alien in the movie, it's like crawling across the table, touching yeah. it to somebody. Just jump on your head. <laughs> Dear. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, Katie. It's gonna feel so much better though. <laughs> He's like, oh, sorry. Right. Like, right. like <laughs> yeah. oh, there. <laughs> I am not going to bed again. <laughs> yeah, never again. All right, so here we are a week later. Well, let me show you. Sassafras! Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Catch fast. Come here. Here he is. We got both of them. You want to say hi? He's just as sassy as can be. Huh, ain't you? Uh, his nose is doing fine. Um, the wound under his neck is taking longer to heal. You can see there's still a hole there. See? And that's because the first vet, it was a different vet, that pulled the tapeworm, or the bat fly out of his neck, she actually didn't get it in one piece. And so what happens with bat flies, kind of like bees, is that if you don't pull them out in one piece, um, they release a toxin into your system, which is why you really need to have antibiotics on hand if you do have a bat fly. Because if you don't get it out in one piece, you will need those to keep infection down. I learned that the hard way with our first cat that had a bat fly two years ago. It was not a pretty sight. So antibiotics if you have a bat fly. Um, 
And so, yeah, that has taken a long time to heal. I have put stuff on it, but it seems to kind of make it worse. So I'm just letting it dry heal. And then for those of you looking for an update on little scruffles, because he was so frail and so thin, his body couldn't handle, um, worming medicines are really hardcore chemicals. All right, it's not like, you know, popping a cough drop in your mouth. All right, guys. So it was a lot more than a system could handle and it, he almost didn't recover, but he perked back up. I gave him some electrolytes. Um, he's on a steady diet of baby food because he still can't keep anything down. Um, it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes he can keep it down, sometimes he can't. I give him like a tablespoon of food at a time about every two to three hours. So, um, and I do add a little bit more of um, cool calories. I don't know if you're familiar with those. It's basically granulated fat molecules that you add directly into their food. And so he gets a little bit of that, a little bit of extra protein whey in his diet, um, vitamins. So his energy levels are through the roof. He won't leave me alone and his brother won't leave him alone. You can see he's been thrown up because he's got it coating his nose, his face, and then his paws will get little wetness on him too. So, um, I don't know. He could be just severely inbred and um, just had some sort of abnormalities when he was developing as a tiny kitten. But at this point, I don't think it's worms. I haven't seen any worm signs, nothing in his stool. Um, I just don't think it was formed correctly and it's not contagious he's just he just wasn't uh, blessed with perfect genes like chunky monkey over there so the bottom line is with the vomiting it could be a numerous issue since I don't think it's something that you can fix that is possible he could just grow out of it so we'll see how he does but he's healthy He's thriving, and um, will he be a barn cat? I don't know. We'll just wait it out and see. Anyway, that is the status of the kittens. And for those of you who are not subscribed to my channel and are watching, this is a farming channel. This is one of many aspects on the farm that I deal with on a daily basis. Um, feel free to subscribe or pause through my channel if you're interested in seeing any more of the chaos that goes on around here. Like I said, this is just a small snippet. Big thanks to Sand Lake Veterinary Clinic in Sand Lake, Michigan for taking the time to um, doctor up my little kitty over there with a worm. And uh, if you find a worm in your cat, I would highly suggest the Vaseline trick over the hole of the worm. You have to be very fast with a pair of tweezers or needle nose pliers. And uh, remember, your cat's hurting more from the worm than if you accidentally stab him in the neck with the pliers. So. Um, Get out there and uh, do something new and give it a try. All right, take care, guys.